Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a different type of video than what I normally do. I get asked a lot, and I mean a lot, of questions about um, fitness and a more healthier lifestyle and clean eating. So I thought that I would start incorporating some of these videos into my channel. I'm still going to do my beauty videos and my other lifestyle videos, but I thought that this, at the end of the day, this channel is supposed to be well-rounded and I thought that this was really an important, you know, aspect of that. So, here we are. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, on February 25th, 2013, I had gastric bypass surgery. I began my journey at almost 300 pounds. Now I am, I my weight kind of fluctuates between 105, 110 pounds, honestly depending on what time of the month it is. But I haven't gone under 105 and I really haven't gone over 110. So I just fluctuate, you know, as most women do during the month. And yeah, so that's kind of how all of this got started. Now, I just want to stress, gastric bypass is not a path for everyone. Um, before I had my surgery, I seriously contemplated it for two years. I thought about it and, you know, I, I use my gastric bypass as a tool to help me in my fitness journey. Um, even before, oh, I'm sorry, even before I had my gastric bypass, I was already um, losing weight on my own. I wanted to make sure that I could make a real commitment and I had the dedication to be able to, you know, start a new chapter in my life. So, I started going to the gym way before I even had my surgery. I started eating right and I was actually able to lose about 30 to 40 pounds on my own before I had the surgery. Now, just some other things that come into play with that, I do have multiple sclerosis. So that, you know, as well played a huge you know, it played a huge part in me making the decision as to whether gastric bypass was the right path for me to take. Now, I have gotten so much amazing, amazing support from my family, from my friends, and that has meant, like, the world to me. I have had a few, like, negative comments here and there, like, oh, you took the easy way out or oh no you're not gonna lose any weight with that surgery you're just gonna gain it all back like I've seriously I've heard it off from both ends of the spectrum people who are all for it and people who are completely against it and honestly what I've come to realize is the majority of the time the people who are against it it's not I don't feel like they're doing it or you know expressing those opinions in a malice way I think it's a little bit of ignorance that they just don't know and they're just not knowledgeable about what really goes into this process. So you know, I really don't take it into heart to be quite honest with you. I more so focus on the positive, you know, and it's been a very positive experience for me. Now I'm not going to lie. I did have complications in my surgery. I ended up back in the hospital. I was in the ICU. I had very, very serious complications. And even despite all of those complications, in all honesty, I would do it a thousand times over. I'm so happy with the results that the surgery has given me as far as being a tool to help me. I get, I'm sorry if this is kind of a little over here, over there. Honestly, my videos are not scripted. 
I really have not sat down and jotted down notes about what I wanted to talk about. I'm really just speaking from the heart. And so, yeah, I hope this is really helpful to somebody out there, you know, who's either contemplating the surgery or who has already had the surgery and is just kind of looking for that support. So I get told all the time, like, oh, my God, you had gastric bypass surgery. You must be able to do whatever you want now and eat whatever you want. And that is so so untrue. I have been able to lose almost 200 pounds in such a short amount of time. By the time that, you know, as I'm filming this, it's May, no, it's actually June 1st, 2015. So it's been a little bit over two years, I believe. So I have and I maintain a very, very clean diet. No soda, no junk food no crappy food like I'm just gonna be real I'm not gonna sugarcoat this and be like oh my god you know it's so fabulous no I really maintain a very very strict clean diet it's not even a diet a clean a clean eating lifestyle let's call it that I don't eat junk food I don't eat processed food and I very, very instinctly control my sugar intake because, as you may or may not know, if you go over on your sugar intake, you can cause dumping syndrome and you're seriously going to make yourself sick. And I don't want to make myself sick. So I'm very, very cautious of what I eat. My diet is basically a very organic, clean diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables. Um lots of great protein, grilled, you know, sautéed, no fried foods, no crap. Even after the surgery, you have to still maintain a healthy lifestyle because yes, you can gain all of the weight back. Eventually, your your little pouch will expand to the point that you'll gain all the weight back and then you would have done all of this for nothing. That's not what I want. So, like I said, I maintain a very clean diet, no HMOs, I try to stay away from, like I said, no HMOs, no um, hormones, I try to stick to an organic diet, you know, if I go to Walmart and I buy fruits and vegetables and they're not 100% organic, that's okay. I just try to be very cautious of what I eat. And as far as my sugar intake... I keep my sugar intake at less than 10 milligrams. I really don't drink anything else but water. I don't drink soda. I've never drank alcohol, so that was never really an issue for me. But um, no soda, no juices. You know, I really enjoy infused water. And, you know, yeah, that's a big chunk of my sugar intake that I've completely removed from my diet. As far as my food, um, I try to stick to organic, you know, even if I have starches like breads and pastas and stuff like that, I've noticed that my body can process and handle the organic stuff a lot better than the things that are processed. I, when I usually go shopping, I really, really love Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Trader Joe's, in my personal opinion, is a lot more inexpensive than Whole Foods, at least the Whole Foods that I've been to. So I usually stick to Trader Joe's and that way, you know, since I can look, since I have trust in the brand and the quality of the food, you know, I can still have macaroni and cheese and I can still have pancakes and waffles and, you know, agave syrup and stuff like that. But, you know, it doesn't, it's not processed. It doesn't have so many, you know, nasty chemicals in it. So at least for me, you know, that has worked. That's a grocery store that, you know, I have feel confident in shopping in. Now, this is not a sponsored video. Trader Joe's doesn't know who the hell I am. But, you know, it's some place that I enjoy shopping. And even when I can't make it to Trader Joe's, because Trader Joe's is a little far from me, 
I will go to Publix and I'll go to Winn-Dixie and I'll go to Walmart. But when I do go to those stores, I will just be very cautious of what it is that I'm buying. And I will read labels and I will try to kind of stay to the perimeter of the store and, you know, not go through the aisles and no cookies, no chips, no, you know, junk food. I try to stay away from all of that, you know, and as far as my diet, that has really helped me. Now, I am not going to sit here and tell you that I go to the gym every single day because I don't. It is not possible for me. I have three children. I have a family. I have a husband. I am busy. And sometimes I just don't have time to go to the gym. So I will work out at home. I went to Walmart and I um, got a, what is it? It's the TRX um, suspension machine, the little suspension straps that you strap onto the door. That gives me a great, great, fabulous workout. I love it. So the days that I can't make it to the gym, I'll use the TRX suspension system. And if I can't do that, then I'll go and I will go pick my husband a little bit earlier and I'll go for a jog around the neighborhood. He works in South Beach. He works, you know, right off of Ocean Drive. So the days that I can't get to the gym or everything is kind of overwhelming at home and I have too much stuff going on at home, then I will literally go pick him up maybe 45 minutes early. I'll park the car and I will take that half an hour, 45 minutes and I'll go jogging on the beach. You know, and that's how I'll incorporate my, you know, daily exercise. So, you know, realistically, if you can get to the gym every day, hey, bravo to you. Kudos to you. I wish I could, but that's just not something that's feasible for me. So I just kind of get in the workouts where I can. You know, if I can do an at-home workout, great. If I can get to the gym, even better. And if I can't, then, you know, yesterday, my husband and I, we took the kids out for a walk. The kids were out in their scooters. My husband and I were walking with them, you know. Is it the ideal workout? No, maybe not necessarily. But you know what? At the end of the day, I still went out and did something that kept my activity level up. So that's something else that's really, really important. You know, gastric bypass is not the end all be all. Just because you have the surgery, that really doesn't mean anything. It's just meant to be a tool. At the end of the day, if you do not have a good you know activity level and you don't have a good diet in place then it really doesn't mean anything you know you really just basically have the surgery for nothing you'll lose a little bit of weight but then eventually you'll gain it all back because you'll fall back into all of those horrible habits so that's my take on it and let me see what else do I do I just um I usually get a lot of questions like about skin and stuff like that like hey I'm gonna be real I have saggy skin like see in my arms like right here this skin is so annoying but you know what it is what it is it's there it's jiggly but it's not the end of the world the rest of my body I don't know if you guys can like see me I know I put like fitness selfies up and stuff like that so Maybe I'll insert some pictures like somewhere around here so that you guys can see or in the end of the video, but the rest of my body basically like shrunk back and my arms, my jigglies and my arms, that's really the only sagging skin that I have. You know, I know that a lot of people have questions about that and honestly, the skin, it does shrink back. With proper diet and exercise, your the 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 elasticity of your skin really does shrink back I mean do I have stretch marks hell yeah I do but I've also had three children so you know that has really contributed to the stretch marks as well but you know if you know me as a person you know I did not begin this journey to 
be vain. I'm, I'm not a conceited person. I'm not a vain person. I really did this surgery and I really started this journey in general to live a healthier lifestyle so that my multiple sclerosis will not take over my life and take over my body. Since I've taken these steps, do I still have attacks with my MS? Yes, I do. But I've managed to at least take some control of my symptoms and I've been able to live a better lifestyle because of it. You know, I'm able to walk, which is always a plus. My attacks are becoming um, fewer. They're still there, but they're more controllable. My symptoms are so much more controllable. And most importantly, I'm healthier and I'm happier for my husband and for my children. And that's something that was really, really important to me. So, yeah, that's kind of how my journey got started. Now, like I said, I'm going to start incorporating more fitness videos. I'm really trying to, like, get myself into a schedule with my filming. But, you know, because of the fact that I have three kids and my husband, that's it's kind of difficult for me to say, like, to set in stone, like, Friday is going to be Friday Fitness and Monday is going to be Makeup Monday videos and Wednesday I'm going to vlog and you know I'm still working on it. I'm sorry I'm a crappy YouTuber but you know I'm still working on it but for now I'm really just trying to put out as much useful content on my channel as I can. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Think of this as a little introductory, a little introductory video to the fitness videos that are to come. I'm gonna see if I can incorporate maybe some meals, show you guys how I meal plan, um, maybe take you guys shopping with me so you guys can actually see what it is that I buy, do like a little grocery haul, just like I would in my beauty videos. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about incorporating this stuff into my channel. And I really hope that you guys embrace it, that you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them down below if you have any requests for some videos. Maybe some workout examples of some workouts that I do. Like I said, meal planning, you know, how I organize myself as far as my beauty, my fashion, my fitness stuff. But just my mommy life in general. Go ahead and let me know. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope this video wasn't too, like, scatter-minded. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.